Um, I will go on further now because we are running short of time. We are <laughs> uh, long talks. Uh, the next speaker is going to be Catalin from Star Storage. I had a nice discussion with him beforehand about where is the world going to go. Hi. We were, we were talking about how the future of technology is going to look like and of course we agreed that it's going to be cloud first and mobile first. But then of course the technologies under this concept of cloud first are going to be concentrated by a few global providers which you all know and um, the only thing that we are left to do is to become the next Steve Jobs to create the new innovations and Star Storage is uh, offering such a platform which allows uh, developers to prepay for resources and to uh, makes it very easy for them to just get on with it, start working. So I will let uh, Catalin speak more about their offering. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, guys. Um, well, I have, uh, I have a presentation with about 20 slides, I think. Uh, I'll try not to bore you in order to, uh, to have something from, uh, from this 30 minutes. Um, I will talk about cloud. <laughs> OK. Uh, you, you're already bored, probably. Um, well, I do this business of about five years now. I work with Romanian big companies. Some of them were international also. Um, and I got specialized in uh, business continuity projects and, uh, let's say, data center services. Uh, in Romania, of course, we don't invent the cloud. We, uh, actually, nobody invents the cloud. It's invented from a long time ago, but the IT actually managed to do the, this principle of cloud, to apply them. That's why uh, Star Storage uh, it's considered a local option as cloud service provider uh, for uh, the international service providers who actually does the cloud. We Star Storage, we don't invent nothing. OK, anything. It's something that we just integrate using uh, technologies that are confirmed by the industry. Nobody says that um, VMware is bad or good. Or somebody says, doesn't matter. Or Hyper-V from Microsoft. Or different other technologies. Uh, but if the market considers them valuable, we put them on service. And Clients like you, I lost the mic. OK, it's, it's back. Uh, and people like you start using them. And we get the, the idea if it's, it's, it's valuable or not. I'll tell you a few words about me, about Star Storage, and afterwards I will speak about the, the service I propose to present you today. That's me. Um, I have, as I told you, five years now from uh, in, in, the, in the industry of business continuity. I work with uh, IBM for two and a half years. I work with uh, former Rome Telecom for more than five years. And now I'm in Star Storage about two years. I run the, the business unit of cloud and data center as sales manager. And I'm proud to be one of the most specialized sellers of cloud service in Romania. Not because I think so, but I do. Uh, and uh, because I saw that my customers appreciate what you do for them. I'm not an IT guy. I have no idea what happens after I send the contract. Not quite, but literally. I have a lot of guys who do the work behind of me. But the customers says that they, they bought the service and they use the service not because of the IT, but because of the trust. Because they know to do IT. Nobody learns them how to do it. We do it as they would have done it. But they have trust to give us this job. Star Storage, it's a company of about 15 years. It doesn't do IT from 15 years. But it does something which is unique in Romania. It does document management for 15 years. Documents doesn't matter if are on paper or on hard drives. All of them are secure, must be secured. And we have 15 years 
of security services for our customers. Now we do it in data center, which is an IT job, but we do security, okay? We are specialized in private cloud setups, okay? And it's something that everybody know what private cloud means. But it's special to be in Romania, to be secured by a, a company with tradition in security who operates its own data center. It's something different from all other cloud service providers. But we'll discuss on this when we'll meet face to face in your projects. Because today I will speak about Elastic Cloud. Elastic Cloud is a technology which we imported from abroad and uh, we develop it, nothing to it. It's genuine. We just put it on Romanian servers in our data centers. Okay? So it's a product built up by Gelastic. It's an international company of smart guys like you who writes a lot of, of, a lot of uh, software. And it's designed for uh, developers. They said it's the best tool for developers. I don't know, probably it is. You will tell me. I took their word and I say that is the best tool for developers. And I will try show, to show you why. Um, let's figure out how this works. Okay, it's working. Okay, these are the steps you usually, you usually should have done when you start running a new application or testing it. You have a lot of ideas, a lot of requirements, a lot of technology to integrate. You run these steps. Okay, now comes a smart guy like me and says, what if you don't do all these steps? You'll say, okay, if it's a sales guy, what, else, what does he know? It's a sales guy. We do it like this. Wow, let's buy it. <laughs> um, I will tell you why we do it like this and why it's so simple. Because it's already done by the platform, okay? You know how to install a Linux server because you know and you like it. But if you do this all your life, you'll, you'll, you'll probably end by hating it. And all the other middleware technology you need in order to run your application. So we didn't invent nothing. We just automize these technologies to run easier for you. This is how it looks like. It's a lot of color, a lot of pictures, no running code. You should hate it. <laughs> I hope not because you can run a lot of code on this. But this helps you, if you don't want to waste time, to automize everything easily. I manage to do an environment here. Of course, I haven't read anything from the tutorial because it's written in English and it takes me about five minutes, which is huge. I just looked at the pictures. And of course, you cannot break anything, so you try pushing them, and it works easily. For me, it doesn't make sense a lot of words, but I pushed it anyway. Nothing happens wrong, at least. Well, they told me that I should tell you more technical stuff. I will try to read from this chart because most of the words are just names for me. You should know better than me what they mean. The idea is like this. We start storage provide the hardware infrastructure. A cluster of servers hosted in data center we have in, the Buc in Bucharest, which is a tier three data center, by the way. And we keep it alive. It's our job. Star Storage has the job to make that system work whatever happens. From the bare metal above, it's Gelastic job to make it work with a box technology that does everything in a single box. They use virtualization in order to create efficient, uh, from resource point of view, uh, environments. They have an orchestrator that I'll show you what he knows to do. It's their technology. It's not taken from somebody else. It's their brand here. And they provide a lot of tools for three type of users. You have the developer part, which is very wide. You can do a lot of things here. There is an operation panel for us in order to manage the users and to see what happens in our platform. But we're just operating it. We don't, uh, we're just managing it. We don't do any change to the, to the platform. And of course, there is a marketplace where you can take everything already done. 
I have customers that took WordPress and they just push the button, they put money in their credit, uh, credit account and they have a WordPress website. It was so simple that the blogger managed to do it. And he's writing about cooking. Okay? He never saw what happens behind the WordPress. Everything that scales up and down. All the, all the system that should be integrated. He has no clue on this. Okay? This is a larger picture. It's difficult for me to present it because, as I told you, there are a lot of words which I don't understand. But the idea is like this. We operate here. We manage, uh, we are able to see if something happens in the system and to manage the resource allocation in order to be sure that the platform has everything needed to run smoothly. You work here, which you have a lot of levels to, inter to interact with the technology. And there is a lot of technology here. It's common technology, something you, you, you are already using. It's not something invented for you in order to, to, to convince you to use it. No, you are using this technology. And of course, there are your customers or users or whatever you want to call them, the guys that browse the web. And they interact also with the platform, but at user level, from application point of view. They don't see what happens behind. They don't see how the system scales out or how the systems uh, multiplies the, the nodes for you. They just see your application running smoothly. And you manage the, the, the effect on these uh, this customers from tweaks that the platform gives you to, to, to adjust the performance. I will show you further, because I have not a live demonstration. There are print screens from the application that I will show you. Well, I put here a print screen with the versions of the technology that are embedded in the platform. There are much more than this, but uh, it didn't fit up in the presentation well, so I put just a part of them. Well, one of the things that I understand is very valuable for this platform is the fact that it's using Docker. As I understood, Docker helps you a lot with moving your application from one point to the other. It's a pretty new technology imported in Elastic platform, but I saw that grew the, the rate of usage of the, of the platform with significant two-digit persons. So I understand that developers appreciate the fact that they can move their application from one platform to the other in a box that doesn't have to be tuned for different type of platforms. Okay? Um, these are pretty technical slides, so I'll just pass on them and I'll try to give you the information that it's on my level of understanding. But you should stop me and ask me if it's necessary. About the height availability, we provide a um, hardware platform which is built up in a cluster in order to have full redundancy from hardware point of view. Not just servers, it's the storage that pro is protected, the, s the networking part and everything, all the environment is built on, uh, on a redundant infrastructure. Okay, so if there is no single point of failure. The platform does the, the, the um, uh, moves from one resource to the other automatically. So it does what, whatever virtual platform does already. It's a, it's a standard already. Um, the fact that it's using containers uh, gives a good advantage for the, those that is using it because optimize the resource allocation and usage. As I understood, actually co uh, moves uh, actually uses one container for multiple applications in order to multiply the, that, that technology for each application itself. That makes it very easily to sc scale out and down and very efficient from hardware resources point of view. This is something that is absolutely fantastic at Elastic Cloud. It has automatic scaling. It's not something invented by Jelastic, but it's very well put in place. It scales up and down automatically. The orchestrator monitors the load on your application and delivers resources as much as they are needed. Of course, it doesn't work on an infinite scale. It scales out until the physical node is 
uh, actually uh, full. But it can scale also on horizontal side in order to create extra nodes for your application and balances the, the, the load on them in order to give even more resources. This is the concept that it's used as an atom of the platform. This scales out and down. This is the unit used to modify the infrastructure. It's a very tiny bit of cloud, but it's good enough to va have very good scalability. And the idea is that you set up a reserved volume of resources, and the maximum dynamic uh, um, volume of resources that should be uh, actually the top limit of your system in order to control the eventual uh, variable cost you'll have. But this gives you the advantage not to look on how um, precise should be the sizing of your infrastructure when you deliver the application. And it gives you the opportunity to follow the customers or the users, not to limit their access uh, on, on the physical uh, scale of the infrastructure. You can move your code from whatever platform to, to Gelastic without limitation. There is nothing that will limit you to import your project on this platform. We have, I have users that move around in order to test their application in different environments. And they bring existing projects or they create new projects here without being locked in. I just know their, pass, their, their, their uh, email address and this is the only thing I know about some of my customers. They don't have to register at least. Okay, these are things that you should ask when you try using it. You have SSH access, which I understand is very valuable for you. Okay, it's, it's a must, actually. You can, you can use APIs in order to connect it to whatever uh, platform you have developed in somewhere else, or in some other place. So it's something that it's alive and usable in whatever uh, uh, configuration you want to have it. OK, now I put a print screen of the environment of that a developer see. Actually, this is my account just created. It's blank. It's nothing all allocated there. The first step I should have done is creating a new environment, which I did because it's, there are just two buttons. It's easy. One of them, it was bigger. And appears this, this new panel, where you have a lot of information. Well, I understand that it's very important for you to choose from the beginning how you will build your application, which will be the platform that will maintain your, you, you will write the application on. And you have the options in the top of the, of the, of the interface. OK, because just Java was significant for me, I choose Java. Of course, it was the first. And uh, I end up with this panel where I just read the names and try to understand what they did. So you have the possibility to allocate uh, hardware resources from a minimum volume, which is recommended usually by the platform, depending on what, what technology you choose, up to a top, um, a, a top sizing of your environment. You have the possibility to choose different type of technology in order to place it in your platform automatically, like databases. Uh, you can choose, uh, if you choose PHP, for example, you have different version of PHP you could use. You can choose if you want to have a balancer or not. You can choose vertical scaling. For example, it was a, the part that where you choose how it should scale up and down on, on a single node. But if you want to have horizontal scaling, you can choose how many nodes you should allocate on your application. But this happens automatically. It's not a must to have all the nodes from the start. But if the application needs more resources, you scale out on nodes. And you have balancing services delivered directly by the, f by the platform. You have a lot of tweaks here in order to set up the environment properly, as you would have said it, if you own a lot of infrastructure and you have to configure a lot of technology. This side, I should have opened it. Uh, you have a lot of versions to choose in order to deploy it. When you are ready, you just push the Create button. 
and the systems builds up the entire environment and delivers, uh, delivers you on the email user and password to, the, um, to each uh, middleware installed. For example, if you have a database, you receive the user and password for the database. You have a user and password for the web server and whatever you just put in your, in your platform. Afterwards, you can enter and manage each of the component individually in command line. So you can write code directly on them. If you, if you want to change something, you just close the environment and create a new one. You have the possibility to put it asleep or just to make it idle. Okay? You have the possibility to multiply, multiply this environment. You have the possibility to change the settings during the running environment. Everything is alive. But you have all these tweaks at your hand. You can use them running up uh, in, in real time. This is the part where you see how much money you will pay. This is an example take from the Gelastic website. I don't know what they put there. The idea is that you have different zones of resources allocated for different purposes. Some of them are dedicated, some of them are dynamic. The idea is that you control everything from this view. And you can allocate resources and use resources as much as they are useful for you. If you just want to shut down the platform, you'll have zero cost for it. Okay? And by the way, you don't have to pay a monthly fee. You just have a prepaid account, you fill it with money, and you just use the money based on the volume that this platform is using each hour. I will show you a, a, a new picture which um, reflects this, uh, this idea. This one. This is a print screen from a test environment. A Magnolia environment created uh, with a maximum of 16 cloudlets. Okay? And uh, they, they did a test. They simulated the, the traffic on the platform. And you saw how resources grow. Memory, CPU, and network. And the orchestrator put resources until the pigs are f uh, uh, actually d d deliver enough uh, resources for the pigs, and afterwards the, the orchestrators re release the resources in order to lower your costs on the month on the hourly usage. This is a test environment, but real life happens like this. I have customers that put their website on this platform and pays about 15 percent of how they were paying on a web hosting service provider because they don't have the traffic. Uh, they don't have to pay for the peak of the traffic. They pay just the use. Marketplace. Well, this is not something for developers, but helps you when you have a project or a small project for a customer that needs a platform. You can deliver more than 100 um, applications already packed. You don't have to build up everything there. And they are packed, and, and the, uh, they have resources, as the provider said, that is necessary to run at the basic instance. Afterwards, they scale up and down as is necessary. This is the picture with the, with the, with the marketplace. Okay? You scroll down, you find a lot of technology. You should visit uh, the, the portal in order to have a full understanding. For example, I, this is, I, I, I pass fast on this. WordPress. You just press Install. It starts deploying, and this is what happens in two minutes maximum. Or of course, WordPress is something very, uh, very small and used by uh, non non professionals. But you can use CMS, uh, you can use um, CRMs, you can use a lot of other applications which are more complex to deliver. Of course, you can bring your own applications here. You can create your own bundle and put it here and run it for each customer or partner you have without building it up every time. Could be packed. This is a picture that compares Elastic Cloud versus large service providers like Amazon. Of course, they have their own tools to, v to, to, to uh, scale up and down the resources, but they are not as flexible, as, uh, as easy to use as is Jolastic. Okay? And this is the cost. Well, actually, you cannot invoice 0 0.0040 euros. 
but this is the price for each cloudlet per hour. Okay, if you have a large volume of cloudlets, it's true. Um, the idea is that a website which is used by 5,000 users per month cost about 15 euros per month to be hosted here. With the peak of, uh, of um, uh, accessibility of 500 browser user browser uh, 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 an hour. Okay, it's not much, but that company who does this, uh, who use this website, sees a benefit to have a very scalable platform with a very low cost. Well, this is actually the last slide, okay? Um, the idea is that I will not convince you but, but just by saying these marketing words. It's not enough for you. That's why I want you to test the platform. Just visit the, the, the website. It's put on the bottom of the screen. So we have StarVault, it's our cloud platform. And Elastic Cloud, it's on that platform. And you have this button where you can log in with your email address, the only information needed, and you get a, a 14 days trial account. It's not much. It's the idea that to, you should test the, 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 the features of the platform. Okay? Well, I found this code on the internet. Helps me to, 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 to convince you on your language that Elastic Cloud is a good product. Some of you didn't understand it, I saw from your eyes. Probably there are sales guys like me trying to steal in ideas from Star Storage. That's why I put this picture for them, not for the developers. Now you understand, it's good, and you should trust me. Um, something that everybody understands, and I'm sure is not something that I will describe more. We can give you a 20 euros prepaid account just to use the platform in exchange of your opinion how it's working. Okay? And how it's useful for you. You don't have to fill out a, a template. You just write an email with five words in order to say if you like it, if it's useful, or what you should do with it. To take the money, you, ha you just have to go to our stand, give our email address and your name, we create the account for you, and you'll get it on the email, the user, the password, and the credential to access the, 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 the platform. 20 euros, it's enough for you to test, really test the environment. Okay? And also, you should fill with five stars the, the questionnaire they have here in the room. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I need questions now. Thank you, Katalin. Five stars, please. And uh, fill it in and drop it in the box downstairs, and you can win a YubiKey. Any questions, but really short ones, because we are very much over time. Good questions, short answers. Network uh, bandwidth, it's also uh, a resource that can be uh, can be dynamic uh, allocated? Well, Star Storage is the only data center in Romania, at least tier three data center, that is located in the same building with a national interconnect of telecom providers. We access all the internet providers in Romania within the same building. We operate more of 10 gigabits of internet access balanced on many providers in order to have resiliency and redundancy for telecom services. The internet access to this platform is limited to 100 megabits for each customer as standard. If it's necessary, we can modify this parameter. But, it but it's dynamic uh, allocated? It's of course it's dynamic allocated. It's, uh, if the platform is dynamic, you, sh you cannot allocate it uh, fixed to uh, to any user it's useless i mean uh, if i had the peaks of network bandwidth um, high peaks 
do I have to to pay a lot for this uh, uh, bandwidth or well imagine that in 0.004 euro you have hardware infrastructure redundant hardware infrastructure hosted in a tier 3 data center you have all the virtualization and the, and the technology software technology provided there you have redundant internet access and IT services 0.004 it's expensive I don't think so upgrading the only the internet will not be a significant cost for you and if you if you need a lot of internet more than 100 megabits for sure you you use a lot of cloud nets. okay next question please so sales question I am doing uh, cloud services resell uh, okay. for QA consultant services and usually this involves complex business cases which requires a lot more trial than like 14 days. Okay. Uh, so is that do you have anything specific that allows me to do more complex evaluations that I can pitch them to my customers? Well, Star Storage is a Romanian company which is pretty different from international companies you saw here or other, or other places. We do whatever is necessary for our customers or our partners in order to create value. If you need resources to convince one of your customers to buy, we give you whatever you need in order to fulfill your project. So there is not a standard way of working with partners. There is a not a limited way to work with partners. Whatever you have in your mind and it's constructive, we support it. This is not the only platform we have which is more important for partners is to have private clouds dedicated to partners in order to be operated by partners. And they have customers from software developing that they operate their own private cloud and they deliver software as a service from Star Storage. Any more questions? Done, thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Catalin. We wait you on the website and also call us for one-to-one -one meetings. It's very important to build up your projects. Okay? Thank you.